Hi Francine, it's good talking to you again. Um, I just wanted to go over the um, implementation of the new telemedicine marketing software that we will be implementing at MLHN. Um, so I'm just sending over the plan. Give me a second. Okay, it's sent on my part. Um, I think I heard on your side too. Okay, let's begin. So the first um, topic of discussion is I wanted to go over some of the main features that we should ensure that are included in our software just to um, make sure that it's the easiest for our patients to use as well as our doctors and it's just you know the most effective method and we're truly utilizing this new technology. Um, so I think overall we should consider um, implementing a patient portal. So this will essentially include a, a many different features that are available to our patients and our doctors. So one idea was that we can have um, a uh, like a patient note section where patients can include their questions, symptoms, and anything else they'd want to discuss with their doctor. And also an option for, or like a section where doctors um, can include like their check-in notes and their check-up notes. And so this can be um, edited while the doctors are in their checkups with their patients and also once the checkups are done. And so the patients are able to view this as well, view this information and refer back to it. And this, will, um, this is a good idea because it'll be easy for um, our patients to um, remember what medicine um, they've been prescribed and what other factors they should be changing in their lifestyle and just anything else their doctor has told them to consider. And so along with this, um, the, technical, um, the technological advancements that are in the telemedicine technology and industry, they're very great and it'll allow us to have many um, possible um, avenues in, and directions in which we can take our implementation of this technology at Maple Leaf. And so one thing we can definitely consider using the technical um, technological advancements is having a section which um, allows for doctors to upload their the test charts and scans of their patients so they're um, a, a, um, able to be viewed by our patients. And this is just, so these features, they're just making the most out of this new technology in order to ensure that it is as streamlined as possible and our system is just as cohesive as possible for our patients and our surgeons. And so moving on to the next topic of discussion is um, outlining the risks involved with this new system. And so moving to a virtual framework, it's something that we're not used to. It's never been done before um, in our company. It's, of course, the acceleration of the um, role of telemedicine in um, um, the healthcare industry is increasing and we need to be moving with the times, which is important that we're implementing this new change at um, Maple Leaf. So um, there, there's a fair share of risks that um, come with this new um, transition, um, which definitely need to be addressed before we um, move forward and move ahead with the plan. So the first risk outlined was just the overall risk of losing patients. And this is just as a result of our patients um, potential lack of technology. And so it's important to consider that the, our patients, our patients at Maple Leaf, um, not all of them um, have uh, technology and devices that are that will be able to sustain a new telemedicine system and software. And so um, in order to mitigate this and um, like a solution for this problem would be to um, ensure that we, while, um, while choosing a operating system for our telemedicine technology, we choose one that's um, available and supported on various different types of te devices and technology. So um, rather, um, rather than just having it available on computers, we need to ensure that it's a well-rounded system. So this would include obviously computers, but also tablets, iPads, and phones. And just overall, we need to check all the boxes of the technology that's available in order to ensure that the maximum number of our patients are able to um, be supported with our new system and be supported by Maple Leaf. And so um, along with this, with the security aspect is definitely a huge risk. Um, 
So this new telemedicine technology will definitely, um, it's going to be holding all of our patient information, which is why security is of utmost importance. So while deciding um, and planning what technology and operating system of telemedicine technology to use, we need to do conduct proper research to figure out and determine which operating system and just overall telemedicine carrier um, will allow for the utmost security of the information. And so we'll partner with them, but we also, along with this, we can partner with a an encryption service that will encrypt all the information to just um, block out any threats and opportunities for um, dangerous people to attack our new system. And so along with this, um, definitely the um, issue of the smooth transition and ensuring that um, the transition of moving from in-person calls to this telemedicine marketing and virtual conferencing um, is as smooth as possible. So in order to ensure this, we're going to need to um, ensure that the um, our staff at uh, Maple Leaf are completely retrained and in in order to for, in order for them to understand the ins and outs of the new system and so we can do this by mandating a company-wide um, retraining workshop and so this is just to ensure that we can make we can have the smoothest and quickest transition from the current system to the new virtual system so all of these solutions outlined in all of the ways that we can mitigate the potential risks will be included in the management and planning of our new um, transition. And so along with this, the next topic of discussion is operational risk management. So the risk management, it's going to need to be monitored throughout the process of transitioning and switching to the new model. And so in order to do this, we'll first need to, first of all, as done before, we'll need to figure out the potential areas of risk in the new plan. So that was already done, but obviously as we meet more, we'll figure out more um, areas that need to be addressed during the planning phase. And so once we've addressed those and we've implemented changes into our plan, we'll need to, um, we'll need to process those and analyze them. And um, overall, we'll just keep reporting. I'll keep making reports over, um, over the, course of this transition along with um, also just including um, areas of improvement and what we need to change and um, how the solutions have helped some changes but also new problems that have arised. So overall it's going to be like a full hands on deck situation at, our, at Maple Leaf but I'm sure that we'll be able to transition smoothly. I think the new telemedicine technology is a great opportunity for us we'll be able to expand our um, clientele and patientele. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be great. Um, it was really nice talking to you, Francie, and let me know what you are thinking.